Hey guys, this is JoJo, back again with another story for you guys today. Hopefully you all are having a wonderful day today. For today's story time, I'm going to be talking about something that's pretty funny and stupid that happened to me back in high school. So today, I'm going to talk about how a very angry emo kid tried to fight me in the middle of the lunchroom. And yeah, I think that that should be a pretty good story for you all today. And with that said, let's get on with the video. So today's video takes place back in 10th grade. On my way to school, I met up with some of my friends and we walked into the lunchroom for some breakfast. So we sat down, ate our breakfast, and started chatting to each other before the first period started. Then I get up to go throw out my tray and as I'm walking over to the garbage one of my friends calls me because he wanted to tell me something and as I'm turning my body this random guy bumps into me causing me to drop my tray of unfinished food that I had and it lands onto his sneakers then afterwards he looks at me and asks me dude why the fuck did you do that to me you fucking idiot and while this random guy is basically yelling at me, I can see what this guy is wearing. And listen, I'm not trying to judge this guy based on what he's wearing, because I think that judging others based on what they wear is one of the most shallow things a person can do towards somebody. But to describe what this guy looked like, he was emo as heck. Like, he was wearing the full-on outfit of a generic emo kid. Like, the thumbnail to this video is pretty accurate to what this guy was wearing. So anyways, I tell this emo kid, look, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I wasn't able to stop my body in time from doing this, I'm really sorry. Then the emo kid says, whatever, fuck you, and proceeds to walk away from me into the main hallway. So I'm standing there looking really confused, and I said to myself, okay, that was really weird, but thankfully nothing bad happened at at least and maybe the rest of the day can go by smoothly maybe i won't encounter that same emo kid ever again yeah i was wrong i was so wrong so later on that day i get into my fifth period class and remember when i said that i hoped i didn't have to see that same emo kid pretty much ever again yeah that's clearly not the case because can you guys guess who was sitting all the way in the back corner of the room by himself yeah that's right it was the same emo kid that was upset with me earlier which was really surprising to me because i had no idea that we had the same class together this entire time so so obviously this was a very awkward moment for me. So I get into class and this emo kid, who for this story I'm gonna name Kyle, is staring at me looking very pissed off. So I sat down at my desk, which is about three rows ahead of Kyle, and about 10 minutes of me sitting there, I felt this small balled up piece of paper hit me in the back of the head, and once I picked it up, it literally says, I'm coming for you during lunch, you're done. Then I turn around to see who threw it, and to no surprise, it's Kyle. Because when I was looking around behind me I could see him smiling at me and throwing me the middle finger so obviously I knew that he was the one that threw it in the first place so after seeing this I just ignored him and continued paying attention in class because I thought to myself there's no way that this random emo kid is gonna try to do something to me over an accident that I didn't even mean to cause in the first place surely this guy has enough brain cells to not act like a child and do something stupid in front of everybody in the lunchroom right clearly that's not gonna be the case right well apparently I'm 100% wrong again because this is where the story gets really interesting or at the very least just so stupid so fifth period is over and i make my way to my lunch period with some of my friends we get into the lunchroom get our lunch sit down and start chatting with each other and not gonna lie i completely forgot about the note that the emo kid threw at me because i still had the mindset that there was no way that he would actually do something to me in the lunchroom and as soon as i had that thought in my head kyle gets into the lunchroom and immediately locks eyes with me and starts walking over to me so after seeing him walking over to my table, I'm thinking, oh no, come on man, you can't seriously be thinking about doing this right here right now, come on. Then he sits down next to me and said, so are we gonna do this now or are you gonna act like a goddamn pussy and walk away from me? Which one is it? So I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Then Kyle says, you know what I'm talking about. I gave you that little note last period, remember? Then I'm like, yeah, the note that you threw at my head earlier for literally no reason whatsoever. Then Kyle goes, whatever, so are we gonna fight or what? And I said, listen, I don't want to fight you. What happened this morning was literally an accident. I even apologized to you earlier about it. So what's the problem? Then he says, the problem is that you disrespected me and ruined my thousand dollar sneakers, you fucking idiot. Then I looked at his sneakers and what I noticed is that this guy wore the most basic out of date sneakers imaginable, which once again, I'm not trying to treat this guy based on what he's wearing whatsoever. That's not the point of this video whatsoever. It's just a little observation that I wanted to make. 
fake. And that's exactly what I say to this guy. So I looked back at this emo kid and I told him, dude, we both know that those sneakers are not worth over a thousand dollars. Come on, be real for a second. Then he says, yes, they are, you idiot. Here's proof. And then he proceeds to pull out his phone and shows me a picture of some sneakers that are worth a thousand dollars. But in the picture, it shows a completely different pair of sneakers that he's not even wearing right now. Wow, random emo kid, you did a really great job trying to convince me that your sneakers are apparently worth a thousand dollars, even though that's not the case. Great job there, dumbass. So I see this, and I tell this random emo guy, you do know that the thousand dollar sneakers in the picture are the sneakers that you're not even wearing right now. You are aware of that, right? To which he gets really pissed off because apparently me pointing this out to him was considered the worst thing for me to do in the history of anything for some reason. So after me saying this to him, he gets red in the face and says back to me, oh, so now you're trying to disrespect me because I'm emo. And I'm like, first of all, I never mentioned anything about you being emo throughout this entire conversation. And second of all, I didn't disrespect you. All I said was that the sneakers in the picture is clearly not the set of sneakers that you're wearing right now. Then he gets even more pissed off and says, that's it. And he proceeds to try and pull me away from the table that I was sitting at, which obviously doesn't work because a little detail that I forgot to mention to you all is that this guy is not very strong. So each and every single time he tries to pull me away from the table, it was just weak. Like he wasn't able to move me whatsoever and as soon as he started doing this one of the security guards came over to our table and asked us what we were doing this forced kyle to get off of me because he didn't want to get himself in trouble for him being a huge fucking idiot so he lets go of me and begins walking away from me to which while doing so he says to me this isn't over and he walks out of the lunchroom into the main hallway and after seeing this some of my friends asked me what the whole situation was about and i told them pretty much everything that happened between me and this random emo guy during the morning time to which we all started laughing because of how stupid and funny the entire situation was to begin with and yeah the rest of that day went by pretty well i didn't get into any more encounters with that crazy emo kid that day so overall things went okay and that's pretty much the story about how a random emo kid tried to fight me over a complete accident that wasn't even that serious to begin with. Now, that's not to say that this random emo kid didn't try to, you know, get me into trouble later on down the road or anything like that. Oh, no, 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 no. He tried doing something even more stupid towards me. But I'll save that story for another video. Moral of the story is don't go around fighting people over a dumb accident. That's obviously not a good thing that you should do to begin with please don't do that and yeah guys that's pretty much the end of the story if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more of my really dumb content in the future a link to my instagram will be placed down in the description below if you guys want to come check it out with that said this is jojo signing out peace